Good morning. Yes, I see the time. One, one, one. And it really wasn't my intent to do a video at this time, but I laid down early evening for a short rest that ended up being a few hours long. And then I woke back up around 10 o'clock and checked to see what the baseball score was <laughs> and ended up um, staying tuned to that, not, uh, not watching it, but the play-by-play -play on Yahoo until the game was over <laughs> and the Giants had won the World Series. And then when I laid back down, I couldn't fall asleep. And so about 15 to 20 minutes ago, I decided to get up and do a video. <laughs> and I had no idea what I was going to do it on. <laughs> uh, but the thought came to me to use one of the comments that was made on yesterday's or the, or the day before yesterday's video uh, by a gentleman named uh, Robert Stan, who was one of my Facebook friends. So the title I chose for today is, What Kind of World Is This? Robert wrote, This planet was never to be a paradise. It is a schoolyard of hard knocks in which we learn to overcome adversity and work off karmic debt. Nothing can be achieved here if we are nothing but love and peace. There would be no reason to come here if we were to seek pleasure and bliss, for bliss is where we came from. Duality must have an equal opposite reaction, or duality must have equality in its opposites. I'm sorry, I, I jumped ahead. Equal good to bad. Even if you got rid of the so-called bad guys, you still cannot have peace on earth because of every action has an equal opposite reaction. It is a universal law of duality. It was not just man that fell into, out, du, into duality. It is all of nature. There's actually more to what he had to say, but I'm going to, at least for now, stop there and go back to the original question that I asked in the title. What kind of world is this? Do you agree with what Robert said in his comment? Do you believe that Earth was never intended to be a paradise? That nothing can be achieved here if we are beings of love and peace? Do you believe that? I don't, but I'm asking you to consider because apparently there are people that do believe, as he said later on, um, let me just see, the creator of this universe, meaning I, I assume he means this world, is not of divinity. In other words, it's not God that created this. And we live in a false earth and in false bodies, all of which are solid material. Whereas we are spiritual beings not needing bodies unless we have reincarnated for more lessons. I find those comments interesting and a little bit stimulating. But I don't agree with them. I think our bodies are wonderful. I don't believe we live in a false world. I don't believe we live in a world that, where there's equal good and equal bad. I think we live in a world where bad, the scales are tipped tremendously toward what I would call evil or living backwards, not getting it right. I agree with him that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience, but I don't agree with him or with any of the Gnostics that would have the same type of mentality that Robert is is talking about here. That earth is always, and it was meant to be, an evil place. A place of working off karmic debt, etc. It wasn't intended to be bliss. I don't buy that. 
I don't buy that God would ever create that, and I don't believe that anything can be created that isn't divinity. I do believe that there was an ad adversarial role created, and that there are beings that play those that adversarial role, that move into that, but it's just simply a role. And life has to have meaning. I, my response was, if I believed that, then my whole life is meaningless. Because all of my life, I have felt that my soul, S-O-U-L, purpose, as well as S-O-L-E, purpose, is to help transform hell into heaven because I do perceive earth as a hell because there is no balance. If there was balance, if there was truly balance between light and dark, positive and negative, and that manifested in the human experience, What am I trying to say, Ron? If that, if, if that was what it was about, and we truly manifested that, there would be more meaningfulness. There would be more fulfillment. Most humans are not fulfilled. Not even, not even those that play the dark roles and seem to accumulate all of the wealth for themselves. Not even the 1% can find fulfillment in this world. They can't. But we could find fulfillment if we would learn to dance. That's my premise. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. So that's why I'm putting this kind of a, a, a talk out that I created in only a few minutes before I started. What kind of world is it? Do you want to live in a world that has no meaning? That's the kind of world, that, to me, that's the kind of world that Robert's describing. Now, I know he has more ideas than, than what are said here, so this is not his whole premise. There's more to it. And he made further comments, which none of which I responded to because I didn't see them until after the uh, after I got back from the workshop and I didn't spend a whole lot of time online. Uh, when I got back, I cleared up my emails and, and whatnot. But there are people, there are people that don't believe that God created this, this earth. This is, this is the Gnostic viewpoint, as I remember the Gnostic viewpoint from what I've studied in the past. And I have a real problem with it, that this, this world is, is not created by God, it's created by, by demons, basically. I'm not going to even draw much of a conclusion. I'm going to leave it as an open question for you to ponder. And I'd like to see what kind of dialogue comes from this. I'd like to hear what other people think and how you're perceiving it, because I'd, I'd like to get an idea of the consciousness, at least of the pe uh, people that listen to my videos. What is it that you think it's all about? Do you think we can create peace on earth? Do you think we can bring balance to the earth? Not the elimination of the, of the possibility of doing something wrong. That wouldn't be free will anymore. But you believe we can have a, a world that is sustainable, that works for everybody? I do. What's your opinion? I leave you with these thoughts, and yes, it's a short video, and it's gonna, I'm not going to do another one, I don't believe, today. I'll wait till tomorrow, and I already have an idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, because it's the 10th anniversary of my new heart, and I'll explain that in tomorrow's video. But in any case, please feel free to comment on this question. What kind of world is this? Let's bat this idea around and look at where the, where the consciousness is 
at least as I said of those that listen to my videos. Thank you for listening again this morning, today, whenever you listen. Namaste.